Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the crucial round three group C match between Jimmy Fantastic and his Dark Elves and Toomish and his Orcs. I can show you the tables here, the, 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 group, the table of the group. Um, actually by the time this game happened, Truk had won his game already. He was on seven points, uh, Kelethorn was on one. So at this point, Toomish knows if he gets a draw, he is through. And if he wins, he's through. And if he loses, he's out. And by the same token, you know, if I draw him out, I have to win. I have to win this game, 100%. Um, interestingly, too much getting a win or a draw doesn't affect him. He's still going through in second place. So he's just trying to draw. He's, you know, the, the win is no interest to him, really. Like, obviously, you know, he still wants to score touchdowns and stuff. But, like, it doesn't really bother him. If he doesn't get the win, he just has to get the, um, you know, the draw at all costs. So I can show, I can also tell you that Tumish is Russian and qualified through the season five official playoffs. And of course I'm British and I qualified through my own league, the Super League. But um, the Super League is full of really good players. We have nine players qualify for the World Championship from Super League, um, you know, all together. So it was actually pretty amazing uh, field to win. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that, to be honest. And I also qualified through the um, NAF Cup. So I, I, you know, I would have qualified anyway if it wasn't just through my own league. I actually double qualified, and I like Andy Devo, like triple qualified or something. So you know, but uh, yeah, so I did. I did. I did qualify through a less controversial way, if you like. But it's not really controversial, right? Because as I say, it was a top top quality tournament. The finals against Diamed, the semi-finals against Crucifer, and I think Andy Devo made the semi-final as well. So it was it was a ridiculously hard competition to win. But uh, and yeah, also qualified twice, right? So I won the toss and chose to kick. Reason being, I want to know how to, how to play my offense. Um, I have to win, right? So I don't I don't receive score on turn eight. You know, execute a perfect turn eight drive, score on turn eight, and then have to defend and then just draw because he scores on turn eight because he does a perfect offense. So I, I I feel like I have to kick. So I know what I have to do on my own offense because obviously with being dark elves, I can score early and then attempt to turn him over to win 2-1 if I've conceded. If I've gone 1-0 up, then I can score quickly to go 2-0 up and then basically guaranteed the win, right? So I've, I, I need to know what I have to do on offense. So I, I was absolutely 100% certain I would kick here and also employ the kind of offset, um, you know, offset LOS and offset chevrons here quite like this setup though I, I had saved it pre-tournament but I didn't have the rest in the middle so I, was, I had to switch that for my sa uh, saved formation got four dodge a block and a wrestle 12 players so very solid team and then he's got four guards a tackle no mighty blow player but he does have a leader which lets him get the thrower the troll 12 players three reels and an apple I don't have the apple Wow, sorry Dimmy, sorry that I care about things. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens then. So it's a brilliant coaching. I had an assistant coach, he had two, so he got the extra reroll, which I'm pretty sad about, right? Because him going from three to four, it, like it's okay for him. Me going from two to three would have been incredible. So I was a bit sad to not get that. So nice blocks for him so far. Nothing, you know, critical. Don't want to get anybody dead instantly. And he's obviously got the power there because that was a blockless block. Pulls this guy back. And bases the ball with tackle and goes to the pickup before the last block. Didn't fumble it. I was I was about as disappointed as you can imagine that he didn't fumble that. Leaves open a real route to pressure here, doesn't he? Looking back, and he follows. Do you know what's crazy? I didn't even think. 
about two dicing the big gun and like basing the tackler and basing the ball. What a weird turn from it. this. This looks like I have to blitz this guy and base the ball, right? I can put two players in, I can blitz him, and then I can like. I can ba base the tackler as well, take the tackler out. Fully base. There's all sorts of things I could do. That's weird that I just didn't. I just wanted to punch this isolated guy and punch the troll. Weird that I just didn't even see that. <laughs> it is a bit committal, but I have to win as well, right? So going for the turnover. That was uh, that was pretty good to go for the turnover there. Like, I have to win this game, right? And instead, I'm just, like, playing kind of, like, passively, how you would, like, normally play. So I nearly stood... I made a mistake here. Uh, a very slight mistake of moving this player first. Um, I should have done this one dice first. And then if I power him, I could have tagged him. But because I moved him, I was, I was thinking that, and then I moved him before I made the block, and I was like, well, now if I push him, I'll get punched. So I had to then move him out of the way. So this was a, this was a pretty bad move all around. I mean, not... Not horrendous, but um, annoying that I made the mistake, you know, because I, I could have done the 1D and then typed in. Just to stop and stand me back up into three elves. Just a line passive, but yeah, I, I think the aggressive line is the one that I should have taken. But never mind. Well, he doesn't stand up, that's funny, isn't it? Well, I'm sure he'll stand up next turn anyway. <laughs> Look at this troll down, yeah, maybe, maybe, we'll see. I'm sure he'll stand up next turn. Also, it would have been harder to blitz the, it would be, see, I also wanted to protect the witch elf by, by pacing the troll. He would have also protected the witch elf a bit as well, so. I was disappointing that I did that wrong. So down two players instantly, nine players on turn two isn't great. So now I really don't want to play aggressively. Now I'm just thinking if I can just stay in front of him and, uh, you know, be as solid as possible. Don't let him get through. He's orcs, he's pretty slow. Um, four dice on the tackler, don't get him. Sad. Also, if I'd powered him on the first one, then he would have been isolated on a, uh, a non-dodge player. Yeah, instantly after two turns, yeah. But that was a beautiful KO, which he obviously appoed because the chance of me removing anybody else is vanishingly small. I guess I could have moved this guy out there. I thought about it and then didn't. Oh, he's failed. Wow. He surely can't fail for a third time, so I'm sure he'll be get that guy up next turn. That was an okay blitz, wasn't it? Got the follow-up hit. But he, he's not piling in. And he gets a little bit of penetration there. More a probe than penetration. To be honest. But it's still great. It's great that the troll stayed down and this guy was stunned, so that's like demolished his uh, front line here, hasn't it? Just the tip indeed. Only pushes. I kind of wanted to try and get like a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of pressure on here, but just failed. So obviously I'll block with blitzers to make them block full blocks. Got to, blo got to block with block, haven't you? When you've only got two rerolls, like you can't really afford to try funky things with alignment. Just have to be sensible at all times. Absolute sensibleness. So I sent this guy around here because I thought this has got to, now he's got to stay honest, right? With a with a full cage. Now he's got to stay honest with a full cage by having this guy around. And I'm also thinking maybe I can blitz the tackle. Um, so that was the idea with this guy. Round the back. Oh, he's failed for a third time in a row with the troll. Incredible. the dodge away there that was I was annoyed by that as you can imagine so now he's got stuff in my face and honestly this this is a mistake here right this blitz is open 
and I didn't really think about my final shape when I did it, right? I guess what I should have done was two there, two there, and two there, and it's, there's no gaps then, right? So I could have just gone, I've got six players to make a screen with. So I could have gone two, two, two. But that's still leaving a bit over there. So I probably shouldn't have blitzed him. I probably should have just tagged him um, with the lineman. Or not defended the way I did. Like I could have actually just done. Like I want to keep the line. I want to keep in front of this guy. And I and I don't know. Like I, I could have just put this guy there, right? I could have put this guy there. I, I don't know why, honestly, I don't know why I wanted this guy out so wide, and I don't know why I wanted this guy out so wide. I, this was probably the time to put two players on the same line as the thrower, and then two players here, and two players here. It's probably what I should have done. And then he could have blitzed and gone around and gone around the corner a bit, but like I'm just letting him go completely through the middle here, so. Even, like, I think the best formation is what I've done with this player here, right? Then that's a great formation. Then I love my formation if there's a player here. Um, but I think I should have gone 2-2-2 two, 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 um, with only six players. But I, So I think I should have had seven. But then he just does this nothing blitz. Really weird. Really, really weird blitz that he made. So I was very... Very happy that he just made that weird nothing blitz. I mean, so the thing is, I guess the thing, the danger that he's got is, right, he's got Mr. Throw. One, two, three, four, five. He can only get to there, right? So he could have piled in with guards and stuff, but he couldn't really get through, right? So he'd have just had to pile in, but I still think he should have piled in there, for sure. And he's failed for the fourth time in a row. His troll has failed. Unbelievable. And now he's taking a player back to punch with the uh, tackle guy. Yeah, I mean, he should have done. I, I should, I should have, I should have at least. If I if I do this blitz, I have to go two two two, hundred percent. But I'm probably better not doing the blitz. I think not doing the blitz and having seven here is better. Of course, if I could have done the blitz, I could have cast the tackle right. So. This is, uh, I was, you know, I was going to do a chain there to maybe punch or something, but it didn't really matter, right? I still got two pluses out. And, uh, you know, safe moves first so that I've still got some kind of formation if, uh, if the later dodges fail. Because I'm, th I'm thinking about the one in 36s. And then obviously these guys last. Nice to make those on twos. And then he dodges to re-tag. Because now it's turn six for him, right? It's turn six for him. So he's probably just got to dodge this guy now. Because, uh, like, he can't just put two players punching me on turn six. He has to get through. And this is, a, I mean, this is a really strong turn, right? I've got a bulky bit up here to stop the, to stop the kind of, you know, elongated kind of thing. I could have got maybe a player here as well. This, maybe this guy could have been. No, he couldn't reach, could he? He went one, two, three. So I've got like a elongated shape over here. This is good enough. Like it's it's pretty hard for him to get anywhere this turn. So really happy with this turn, and uh, really happy tagging out the tackler at the back there. And yeah, this isn't much of anything, is it? He's blitzing a bludger, and. Uh, He's getting a bit back to the middle, right? I guess, yeah, he is getting back to the middle a bit. Which is good for him. But not too far back in the middle. He could have been... This is, This should have been one over, right? This this cage should have been one over. And then, I guess maybe I would have had chain opportunities. But not really, right? I'm trapped with guards. If this is one over, then he gets to stand up on a 2 plus instead of a 4 plus. But he rolled a 1. <laughs> But he rolled a one instead. <laughs> so um, he's now rolled a one five times for standing this troll up. This troll has essentially been knocked out um, at this point. 
But yeah, yeah, I, I agree. He should have. The, the, I hated this blitz from his point of view. He should have absolutely blitzed it. Yeah, completely agree with PC what he should have done there. Um, so I thought long and hard for this turn. And I went with. Um, you know, this dodge out blitz. And then I went one. Now, I I think maybe I should have been one over, right? Maybe I should have been one over. But I thought this was good because if I'm one over, he can blitz this guy and then he can dodge. But it's a long way to go, isn't it? Whereas this way he's got to power me because I've got blodge. And so his tackle is only a 1D, so he's got to get a full power with a big and blitz. So I, I did like this. I really did like this uh, formation by me. I like the turn ordering, like the formation. We've got a bit around there, which, you know, was to do the hit. Really good. I really loved what I did. And now he has to be aggressive right now. He's saved these four rerolls. He's got zero penetration on turn seven. No, nothing's in range yet. He just has to hope for a power here. Gets it instant. Very disappointing. So he's got a big and uh, big and scoring threat instantly. <laughs> Fails in four plus. So he's failed six stand ups, though two of them were four pluses. Gets this dodge. And then Mr. Throw has to dodge and double rush to get into range. And he double ones the rush. So he was very unlucky to double one the rush. But, um, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, he didn't need them to get into range, but with the, he needed it for the eye cage, right? So, which to be fair, the eye cage, I could have still just blitzed him uphill into two, right? Because I could have done my dodges. So I'd have still uphilled him with block into two dice with block. So, oh, yeah, I could have had three assists, couldn't I? So I could have, I could have made it an uphill into two dice. But, um, yeah, he was very unlucky to double one there. Yeah, he did get six ones, though two of them were four pluses. So I, this is this is a funny turn. Um, again, I love my player here. <laughs> I love my player here. But yes, he wasn't lucky in a situation he created. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do things better. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. As you say, blitz this, uh, blitz this lineman earlier. Push in harder. He really did not push in as anywhere near as hard as he could. But you know, he was protecting the ball very heavily, right? Uh, but like, I did want to attack the cage, but then I didn't really get the chance to. So, like, you know, six and two, threes to an extent. But, yeah, I agree. He should have definitely sought penetration um, harder than he did. All right, so I, lo I love my turn here. Let's see what I do. <laughs> so, which blitz to... I mean, it didn't need to be a witch blitz, actually. Um... You know, because the push was good enough. And then this dodge here to cancel the assist here, so I can punch him. I punch him down. So the idea being, this guy picks it up, hands off to him. And he runs away. Double rush. Now, what I don't like here, this is a mistake. This is an absolute mistake. I, I path this move out. I pathed out the dodge and the rush. And what I should have done... Shut up, game. Um, what I should have done was just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, right? I should have done that six move. And then see if I used the reroll. And if I've used the reroll, then I do the one extra rush here. If I haven't used the reroll, then I double rush to there. And so I did make a mistake there because... This current, like, you know, by going there, by going where I go, this lineman can go four, three, one, two, three, four, five, rush hit, right? So I did let him out on a four, three. Whereas if I'd gone the extra square, it would have been a five, four, three. And that's, that's a big deal, right? Adding a five plus to the chain is a big deal. So... I definitely made that mistake. I would definitely call that a mistake, st stacking the move. 
I should have seen if the re-roll situation. Then the last move. This is so hard to stop before this guy. I did the right thing of cutting the corner on the first dodge because I wasn't going to re-roll this rush. But maybe I should have re-rolled this rush because, um, you know, it's, it's really stopping the tackler coming for an assist and this guy coming for it, like everything, right? So, as you can see, this guy could go one, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. So he could, he could, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. Yeah, so he could reach for an assist and he could reach for an assist. So they, these guys could both reach for an assist for the uh, Lyman Blitz. So it was actually really important to have my Blitzer stood here. So I probably should have re-rolled that because with that, you know, it's basically impossible, right? He's got to go five, four, three. Like, it's so hard for him, so hard for him. So it basically shuts down this and makes it a 1D. However, the 1D is four, three, and then a five, right? So the 1D is uh, uh, four. The, the 1D is a 4 3 4, so the, the 1D isn't even that hard anyway. So, so the more important role was definitely to just fully commit. In fact, I should have just fully committed to going here regardless. I should have actually stacked the rolls and just gone here 100%. So this guy, the guy here, the one guy who can hit me. Oh, could he go this way? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, rush, rush. Yeah, so he could actually go 4 4. 4 4 3. So it would have made him a 4 4 3. But if I'd had a 4 plus anyway, I think a 4 plus would have been pretty good. Um, but I didn't do that. Um, oh yeah, even falling, yeah, even falling would have been really good, yeah. Could have done the 4-3. Hmm. But anyway, it's a lot of dice rolls for him. So he makes a dodge, a couple of rushes. So he gets his assist. Does the block up here, why not? And then four, three, two. <laughs> it's got plenty of re-rolls and gets the boat down and then my score is off. So, you know, somewhat unlucky, wasn't it? Somewhat unlucky um, to have, but not that unlucky for him to have done it, right? Because he had three re-rolls to throw at it, so. I'm obviously still feeling great at this stage. Yes, I could have just been 1-0 up and very, 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 very confident. But I've still defended the drive. That's fine. I just need my KO. Well, I, only one KO, right? Just the wrestle, which the, I had 12 players, so I only needed one KO to come back. Got them both. Um, so this is still great, right? We've still defended the drive. Um, it's 0-0 if I score. On turn eight, if I if I win my half one nil, I've won the game. Yeah. So, people thought I dackered here. I was not dackering. Now I was not hitting the LOS, obviously, because uh, how can I? Like, I just didn't like hitting the LOS. Like honestly, putting players here. I just don't I just don't think it's worth it. I'm not gonna do anything. So my plan was to just drop back, you know, well if the ball's close, pick it up and then do a blitz, right? Maybe maybe the guard, maybe this guy, you know, maybe defences, maybe a guard. Can't blitz a big well, I could blitz this big one, right, if it's this side. So I can I can blitz a player and I can pick up the ball. With it being so deep, I'm like, right, I'll just fall back like I'm doing attacker. But the intention was never to fall back on the turn two as well, right? It was only turn one. Um, so yeah, yeah. I was just gonna, I was just gonna protect the pickup and, and go for the pickup. There was no real intention to Dakar, though it was gonna be like a passive, fluid movie movie turn rather than a try to you know beat the LOS up. I just didn't like the idea of clustering all my players and then getting swamped by guard and stuff. Right, like I felt Tumish was passive on offense, so I thought he'd be maybe he's a bit passive on defense too. So I, I didn't want to encourage that by massing my players in the centre to try and knock down his LOS. Now obviously it looks like a dagger. <laughs> it looks like I'm just going to do a dagger. But um, it, it really, it really wasn't. So there you go. Right. 
The troll didn't roll a one, no, no, that was that was something else, wasn't it? The troll rolling ones. That was outrageous. So you know he's just piled forward here, obviously he's he's gonna come in hard, right, on the Dakar. This is the problem. Like you know, so I'll make it clear it's not a Dakar. Let's move these guys forward. <laughs> it's not a Dakar and spread them out with a line behind, like I don't him to come, you know, try and smash in base loads of players. Hopefully keep him off. Keep him off me a bit. Get the pick up. Yes, exactly, yeah, yeah, didn't have to reroll the pick up, exactly, yeah. With two rerolls, you've really got to be safe, haven't you? Um, with Dark Elves, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, he's he's not committing too hard, is he? Again, like like on offense, right? He wasn't committing on offense. He's not committing on defense either. So I'm quite happy about this. Like, I don't have too many turns to waste because Dark Elves are pretty slow. But at least he's not hurting me. I could have gone for the Surf, right? Except it's two defensive assists. That seems crazy. So I'm just going to put Blodges on here, hope they survive, and punch this guard guy. And then by punching him, um, dodge through afterwards. Did make a small mistake here of not moving the witch forward. Like I thought I was going to move the witch forward and just didn't. So just careless, absolutely careless. I did all my safe moves and then not this one. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy I just didn't do that. And uh, yep, dodge him through. Ah, it wasn't careless. It's because I wanted that square instead of this square. Okay, I forgive myself. But I probably should have just moved it one forward. Well, not probably, definitely should have moved it one forward. But I guess now I've got him a slightly better square. But yeah, that was, that was wrong. I'm, I'm sure it was wrong. So he runs all the way around the back, gets his 2D with the tackle. Gets a full pound. And another full power. So pretty unlucky here. Two thirty percent knockdowns, but then lucky in no armor breaks after they've already happened. So this is a funny thing here, isn't it? This is a funny thing. There's two ways of doing this. Um, that's what the right because yeah, there it was, it was, it was a player I could blitz, and there's a way I could get through. And I mean, it helped that he had guard over the other side, didn't it? Yeah. Um, now oh, the other square is push away, but it would have been a mistake. All right, well, good then. Good. Good, I did the right thing. Good. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, this did trap his pushes in there, didn't it? So what I did was here, I actually could have left this guy in there alive. I didn't really think about it. What I liked was this block gets the push away and allows a follow-up block, and then thus ensuring the wood down the side. I could have gone here and then 2D'd him. And then 2D'd this one as well, right, potentially. But I, I think this was right, the 1D. Um, like, I still, maybe I could have stood one of these guys up or based something first, right, in case the one in 36. Maybe I should have stood up this guy. But then do that, get the knockdown, fantastic. And now we are through, wonderful. Of course, it's not perfect because we're going to have to do a rush to secure it. And with these both being knockdowns, means there's less support than I'd like. But now I do some safe moves. Well done, Jim. And this rush. Phew. And then this guy's going to double rush to there. Which I don't re-roll because I would have liked him there, but I don't think it's critical. Because I've still got a screen. If he powers this guy, I've still got a screen, right? So. Instant death. Rick Reckless. Luckily, it's resurrection, so he'll be back from the dead. <laughs> Thanks, PC. <laughs> So he does some rushes to get this right, worth it, worth uh, worth rushing to nail the Witch Elf with Tackle. Ah, 
and it's probably going to rush some more to get things back, right? Makes sense. That's another full power. <laughs> Not a dodger though, so it doesn't really matter. It's the rush in with guard. And rush here, but fails this dodge. Doesn't no, it did re-roll it. Used his lead to re-roll on that dodge. And that's super interesting because that gives us a 2D here and it gives us a very open center. If he'd made this dodge, then I could have uphilled this guy and then surfed and got through. That seems terrible. I could have just 1D'd and then, you know, done some, I don't know, it was really rough if he'd, if he'd managed to hem me in. But luckily he didn't, so that was a very good 1 in 9 for me. And now this, uh, yeah, huge pow, lovely, lovely pow. And a 1D, oh uh, yeah, so a dodge away, so I, you know, I hated doing this, because I guess I could have done it with a Witch Elf, but then I've got less to come through with me. And then just do the 1D here. Then, yeah, just need a push. And then get through, can, because this is a pow, can use this guy as a cage corner, so that's fantastic. And this guy can come and strengthen more. I actually could have just stayed on there, right, to keep the guard out of the way. But I thought I like him moving over here, right, because I want more stuff over there if I want to go further over here next turn, which is the natural thing, right? We were, we were both over here. I move back in the middle. He's got to follow. He's got to try and defend both sides. He's naturally probably going to have less over here, so I want to get away at this side probably. Has to reroll here because he gets wrestled, and getting wrestled is absolutely terrible. Jams in with the guard. Again, maybe he should have just gone like out wide, right? Kick out wide. This guy could have come here. Doesn't want to base, does he? Oh, yeah, he does. But he could have been out wider. I feel like he should have got out wider, right? Kept as wide as possible. That frees this guy, which I was dreading that guard coming in here. But when he didn't, I was ecstatic. That's maybe a touch um, of an exaggeration, saying ecstatic. But yeah, I was really happy he didn't get the guard in here because now this, you know, this gives me the obvious 2D to free and get these all out on twos. So I think he really had to put the guard. I think it was a big mistake trapping this guy who isn't too relevant anyway. Should have definitely hammered the guard in there. And uh, that would have caused me a lot of problems. But as it is, I get a 2D. Get lucky enough to get the power, which makes it that much better. And then now, we have a lovely Witch Blitz. Get the power. And a KO. Kind of irrelevantly on turn 14, but still nice. And then get forward. Critical 1 in 36 with the ball. There's probably a few. I mean, there was the critical 1D with the ball as well. So, there was a critical rush with a witch to defend the ball. Look at all these. I would have stopped at any point. I popped dodge. Did not pop dodge. Get round. Tag the tackler. Leave these guys just to, you know, get in the way and use his actions up. Yeah, that was a pretty nice... That was, I mean, getting the power wasn't so lucky, right, with Frenzy, but... Um, the initial power was very good. Yeah, the, the, the main thing was he just took that guard away and, and you know, if he put the guard in there, it would have killed me. Well, maybe not killed me. Made everything a lot harder. Two more ones on the troll. Oh, yeah, he puked on himself, didn't he? Missed that. It was quite funny, but... Yeah, his one turn of aggressiveness over. I guess maybe... And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is elves, isn't it? They break away and they're gone. You, you know, even though they're slow elves, they're fast enough to get him. I maybe should have blitzed with the witch elf, right? Because then I could have had... But then I would have had a dodge. I don't want to add dodges, right? I want to... Safe as possible. So, just pu push him is good enough. I counted squares here. I actually counted squares... I want as least amount of rolls as possible. Get these guys done. Absolute least dice as possible. 
I'm happy with this. This is actually an extra dice, I think. Is it? No, no, it's not. No, this is this is good. So there's there's two here, right? So what I could have done was I could have just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and tagged with one dodge. But I obviously tagging from this direction is so much better because it, if I tag from here, he just three pluses away. Now it's he's got to go all the way around. Like it's so much better tagging from there. Um, yep. Now what I don't realise here is I've got this guy here, and uh, I've got this guy here, and I've got this blitzer, and this blitzer should have definitely tagged here. But I put him here and it doesn't really do anything. And what it actually does is actually terrible. Because this is an incredible, incredible idea from Toomish here. Looks, this looks super solid. Like I'm so happy with myself at this point in time. And uh, try. I actually put in the reroll to tag this thrower here. Because I think you know I'm, I'm only going to need one reroll at most on the last turn. Um... But yeah, I mean, he's got an instant T-shape, right? By doing this. Terrible. Terrible from me. Didn't really, re didn't really think about it. And if he got the push there, which he didn't. Uh, he got the pow. But had he got the push, then he can move to here afterwards. Then this guy can punch him. He's already got the guard. Chains him to here. And then he's got two dice on the ball. Outra like outrageously bad of me to move that guy there. It was so bad. Could have been up here. Could have been anywhere except where it was. So yeah, that I nearly, I nearly blew it. Just accidentally, you know, like without seeing it. You know, that was absolute, absolute. Just did not think of it. Blinders on. Stick another player around the ball, right? You know, that that was all I was thinking. Just basic, you know, basic, essentially like concept of blood ball. More things around the ball is better. But um. As it happens, I, it, it did nothing and just uh, just gave him a great, you know, a great spot and a great chance to do something. So we get the ball in without having to roll a dice on turn eight. Glorious, one nil up. And um, he doesn't have a goblin, so his only chance is for a riot or oh, not riot. Is it timeout now? So I mean, he technically could score a movement six one turn, but without any re rolls, it's basically impossible, right? So we're only gonna care about the timeout and I feel like a close chevrons is pretty good at stopping two turns and instead it's an officious ref which does nothing and that gets us the victory so there you go a glorious 1-0 win for Jimmy Fantastic and that means that the final group table looks like this Truk on seven points myself on five Tumish on three, Calathorn on one. So I do qualify in second place, undefeated. Zero Kaz four, eight against. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so yeah, that was that was something. Skinemati. Thank you very much, PC. Thank you very much. I, I like honestly, I've been happy how I've played every game. And uh, although I obviously made some mistakes, you know, no one's gonna not make no mistakes of it. So um yeah, I have actually been really happy, especially that game, you know. But a few things that were, like, obviously wrong, um, but nothing horrendous. I mean, even that last one, it was a great spot by him, right? Like, it was a definitely wrong move by, by me, but it was a great spot by him to exploit it. So, even that, I wouldn't say was a terrible mistake. Um, so, yeah, and I, honestly, I think Toomish was probably in the top 32 players. Uh, so, I think he's pretty unlucky, you know, they didn't get there. But uh, you know, at the end, at the end of the day, one of one of us, you know, well, two of us didn't weren't going to get out of the tr out of the group. Um, the thing about Kellathorn is he took, he made the biggest mistake of taking all of the lions, right? So he, he shot himself in the foot a little bit there. Um, very hard for him versus the real bash teams. So um, right there you go. That is that. Um, yeah, yeah, the, the the blitzing the tackler, funnily enough. Blitzing the tackler probably wasn't that bad. It was just not, not screening the centre afterwards. That's probably the worst mistake I've made in all three games. And then I won, that was the game that I won. So that's funny, isn't it? Um, anyway, right, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.